As the Internet of Things and smart cities begin to appear in your region, in your state, in your area, you're going to see that people will continue to be more depressed, anxious, exhausted, worn out. And these smart cities are not going to just show up to your home as they appear in Dubai or as they appear in other regions, but you can slowly but surely see that the everyday life of the modern day individual is tracked, controlled, ruled by the internet of things, by algorithms. I had to take an Uber the other day due to having some vehicle issues. Um, I had to take an Uber and I'm sitting there talking to the person that's driving the Uber and the app is tracking everything from how he's driving to how fast he's going. If he goes too fast, he can be penalized, I believe. If he turns a certain way, it, it, it tracks everything. Not only is that service robbing them blind while they have all that wear and tear in their vehicles, but it controls their every day life. Why do I say this and why do I talk about these things is because quite honestly, I'm noticing an increase of brothers and sisters in the Lord reaching out. And the common trend is we are all exhausted. We are all just finishing the week. And man, at the beginning of the week, we had more juice than Tropicana. But by the time Friday comes, we're exhausted. And I too feel that. I, I too feel that exhaustion. And typically when people reach out, they expect for me to give them some sort of a speech. But my answer is, I, I feel you. <laughs> I'm feeling the same exact way. I'm tired. But I also let them know what I want to let you know as well. That even though I am tired, that even though I am exhausted, that even though I feel like you solve one issue and then you have five or six coming your way. And that can wear you out. That can wear you out. Um, you know, as your brother, um, I want nothing but the best for all of you. You take time every week to pass by to view these videos. And to me, that means the world to me. Uh, to me, the fact that you're there to hold me accountable, you're there to encourage me as well, that means the world to me. And that's why I'm coming to you today to let you know that I too feel what you feel, but that we're gonna overcome. You hear me? Not only are we going to overcome, but we're, we're going to overcome in an amazing way and we have already overcome in the name of Jesus. We're also not the only ones that have ever felt this type of way. You know, when you go to 1 Kings 19.4, but he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die and said, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life. Think of the exhaustion spiritually, mentally, physically. He's a man of God. But it happened. You know, uh, when you look at Isaiah 61.3, where it speaks of where it speaks of the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness it happens even to the bravest it happens even to the strongest and as the internet of things as the algorithms as this world continues to become what it becomes now more than ever do we need to come together do we need to fellowship and very soon we're going to be having some weekly fellowships on our website it's almost actually set up so that's going to be pretty cool for us to get together every week okay now more than ever you have to be wise you have to use wisdom and you have to understand that Satan will come and attack you as an angel of light. His attacks are not going to come to you in the common way. 
but it'll come to you and it'll stress you in ways that you probably never thought before. An example of that is, but he will come at you and attack you and stress you in ways that you never thought of before. If you've ever, if you've ever worked at a call center, they track how many seconds you talk. They, talk, they track when you hang up. They track if you're even trying to take a break. They track hold times, wrap times. Everything is tracked. You have a certain amount of seconds to take the actual call. And yet you have standards of quality to take that particular call at that particular time. It's a stressful environment. Well, that's exactly how life is going to become for many of us in this world that we live in. When everything is tracked. And when the smart city that you think is going to come has already come and is already here. But when it arrives and it stresses you and it causes you anxiety and it causes you hurt and it causes you wounds, we, we're going to come together and we're going to rend our hearts unto the Lord. And we're going to pray right now together. If you're exhausted, if you're going through a difficult time, if you're going through a difficult moment, know that God understands. And I understand too as your brother. And in the comment section, you can post your prayer request and other brothers and sisters will pray for you as well. Because none of us is above any other. I personally understand what you're going through. I am exhausted. I have a lot of real life issues. Real life issues like you have them as well. And it's not easy and as you go through these issues people think that because you're a preacher you got it all figured out nah, no, i don't not even close um i go through what you go through five days a week on my real life job um and i go through what you go through as a family man as a husband and as a person living in this world but the one thing i can tell you the one thing that gets me through it every single day is putting on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. So how about me and you and your family? We come together right now and we just pray. Is that fair? Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your dear son, Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, God, because we made it yet another week. Heavenly Father, I do not even know personally how I made it through this past week. I am exhausted. I am exhausted. You know the concerns that I have upon my life and upon my mind and what I'm going through and the difficulties. And just like you know mine, you know my brothers and sisters in the Lord that are listening to this audio. And you know theirs. And you know what they're going through. You know what these sisters are crying about. You know what these brothers are stressing about. You know what these grandparents are concerned about. You know what these parents are worried about. You know the tears, the fears, the anxieties, the worries. You know it all. I may mean, today, every person listening to this and as they're praying in their home, may they feel refreshed because you are awesome. And your word tells us, and rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the Lord your God for he is gracious and he is merciful. He is slow to anger. He is slow to anger. I know you've backslidden a little bit. I know some of you have fallen very much short this past week and you feel a certain type of way. He is slow to anger. Allow him to restore you there today and repent. And of great kindness and repenteth him of the evil who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink an offering unto the Lord your God. He loves you. I know that you're tired, and that's why I'm telling you that I'm tired. But I also know in the name of Jesus Christ that we, in our weakness, as we feel, that is when he is going to glorify himself the most. And that is when we are weak and we know that we're still getting through it. That is when we say, man, God, you're truly, truly, truly awesome. Allow him and his joy and his power and his might and his anointing and his awesomeness just to take over you tonight in the name of Jesus. So that as you go about your weekly basis and duties that you have to achieve like I have to achieve, that you may feel weak, 
but you know he is strong. That you may feel exhausted, but the Holy Spirit that is inside you isn't exhausted. And the Holy Spirit is going to teach you all things. And the Holy Spirit is going to guide you into what to say, how to say it, when to say it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for what you do for us. Amen. Have I told you that I love you, family? I surely do. You're a beautiful people. I thank you for being there always. Thank you for tuning in each week. This channel, as you know, is not a monetized channel. You sharing the content and pressing a thumbs up goes a very, very long way. If you know a friend, if you know a family member that could use of some encouragement, share it with them. That's awesome. Also, thank you for considering supporting the ministry. That's awesome as well. Thank you for everything. I'll leave you a couple of videos on the screen. And I love you. I love you. I love you. In Jesus' awesome name, be blessed.